The majority of tools today do not come with clean connection points for tool tethering. Life would be much easier if all tools were built like this adjustable wrench. For those tools that aren't built like that, Squid's tool connectors give you a manageable way to safely tether your tools. To apply Squid's tape traps, you'll need a heat source with a low heat setting, a pair of gloves if desired, the appropriate Squid's tool tail, and the appropriate length of tape trap. Before application, know and document the anatomy of your tool by weighing it and measuring the diameter. Consult the connectors table in the product instructions or online to determine the tail and the appropriate amount of tape to apply. Make sure the surface of the tool is clean and dry before application. For this pair of pliers weighing less than a pound, I'm using 12 inches of tape and the 3700 web tool tail. Remove the plastic film covering the length of tape before applying. Position the tool tail as far up on the handle as possible in a position that's comfortable for use. Take the tape trap with the shiny side up and wrap it around the tool and tail right below the web catch point on the tail. Wrap it once around itself. This will capture the tail and secure it for continuous wraps. Continue wrapping the tape tightly around the tool, stretching the tape firmly as you go. Overlap the previous wrap by at least half of an inch as you go. Do not wrap over the web catch point. Create a wrap up and down the tail until there's about an inch or so left of the tape around the end. Position the tape that's left to lay over the previous wraps. Using a low heat setting on a heat gun, heat the end of the tape about 120 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit until the tape begins to soften. Stretch and lay the heated end on top of the wrap tape where it should adhere. If the tape does not adhere, reapply heat and try again. Heat the entire body of the tape for five to 10 seconds at the same temperature. Let it cool for at least two minutes and it's ready to go. Careful, high temps exceeding 200 degrees Fahrenheit will melt the tape. If it's too hot for your hand, it's too hot for the tape. To remove the tape trap, use the appropriate personal protective equipment and simply cut it off using a cutting tool. Notice there are no adhesives and no mess. For this two pound adjustable spud wrench, I'm using 18 inches of tape and the 3703 elastic loop tool tail. Complete the same process for attaching. First, choke the 3703 tool tail around the neck of the wrench. Snug the barrel lock down tight and position the tail over the tool. Position the first wrap just below the choke portion of the tail and follow the same steps for wrapping. If you feel you have applied incorrectly, unwrap it and start again. When you've reached one inch left, apply your heat.
For more information on Squid's tool connectors, visit www.ergodyne.com or contact our Cracker Jack staff at 800-225-8238.